Finishing our trifecta with the PlayStation 5 controller, we have the Mac. The Mac's gaming prowess, or lack thereof, has been joked about before. But just because it's not a common gaming machine doesn't mean you can't game with it. Just like its iOS cousin, macOS can pair with a PS5 controller and use it to play games. What's up, this is EasyOSX, and today I'm showing you how to pair a PlayStation 5 controller to your Mac. First, you want to make sure that you're running at least macOS 11.3 Big Sur, or later, in order to take advantage of native support. While you could use the controller with older versions, you'd have to go through a few more hoops to make it work. To check what version you're running, hit the Apple logo in the top left hand corner of your screen, and then hit About This Mac. There, in the window that appears, should be a line listing the version of the OS you're using, such as macOS 12, Monterey in my case. If you're running something older than Big Sur, then you'll need to upgrade to at least that or newer from the Mac App Store, which I've got a video linked to in the corner. If you can't upgrade, stay tuned because you're not out of luck just yet. Next, grab your PS5 controller. You can use it either wired or wirelessly, but the easiest and best way to use it is over a wired connection. Just plug your USB cable into the controller and the Mac, using an adapter if necessary. That's it. If you want to use Bluetooth, that will require a few more steps. First, you'll need to make sure Bluetooth is turned on on your Mac first. Open System Preferences and click on the Bluetooth pane. If it's not already, hit Turn On Bluetooth. Leave this open though because we're going to come back to it. On your controller, locate the PlayStation logo between the two thumbsticks and the Create button to the left of the touchpad and upper right of the D-pad. You're going to press and hold these two buttons together until the little lights on the sides of the touchpad begin to quickly flash blue. You should see the controller pop up in the Bluetooth list, either saying something like DualSense controller, PlayStation 5 DualSense, or something similar. Once you do this, hit the connect button next to its listing, and after a few seconds, the controller should automatically connect, and the lights on the controller should turn either blue or orange. Once it's connected, you have a few options built in. First, you'll see the Options button appear next to the controller listing. Clicking on this will let you set what pressing the Home and Share buttons do, the PS Logo and Create buttons respectively. While these are all set to Off by default, you can set pressing the Home button to open the Launchpad. Within Launchpad, you can then move around using the D-pad or thumbsticks. You can then launch an app using the X or Cross button, and exit Launchpad by hitting the Circle button. That said, I couldn't seem to get the Share buttons to work so you might be better off using a different tool to record and catch highlights. So how do you play games with this? Let's break this up into three sections. The Mac App Store, Steam, and lastly, games without native controller support. Let's start with the Mac App Store. It gets a little tricky with finding games with controller support. Like its iOS counterpart, the Mac App Store has a tag for controller support alongside the developer's name, star rating, etc. But just like the iOS counterpart, some games don't use that tag and either list it in the description or in the patch notes where it was added. That said, I find the tag for controller support much more common in the Mac App Store than in the iOS Store. If you're a member of Apple Arcade, many games will already have controller support on the Mac, though not all of them. If you're looking at games in the Mac App Store that aren't in Apple Arcade, then just make sure to check the App Store tag or the description. The great thing is for games that do support controllers, once you've got the controller connected, all you have to do is launch the game and everything will just work. Some games will let you adjust and remap the controls, but that's on a game by game basis. Next, let's talk about Steam. There are a few things you should know up front about Steam. First, even if you're not running Big Sur or later, Steam can still recognize the PS5 controller, so you're not out of luck. But that's also because of the second thing you need to know. You will have to use a wired connection to use the controller with Steam. Steam's menus will work over Bluetooth, but most games will not even see the controller. So go ahead and connect your controller with the USB cable. The last thing is that while Steam games may list controller support, not all of them may work properly with the PlayStation 5 controller. It may just be the newness of the PS5 or a game just needing to have its config file edited. But you may want to check the forums for your game in question to see how far controller support goes. Now in Steam, hit the Steam label on the far left side of the menu bar and then hit Preferences. In the window that pops up, hit Controller in the left sidebar, and then hit General Controller Settings. It should take you to a big picture mode interface. Near the bottom left corner, you should see your controller listed under the Detected Controller setting. Assuming you do, then check the PlayStation Configuration Support, and you're all set. 
If you want to adjust your controller settings on a general level, then go back to the preferences window and edit them under the big picture configuration where it'll be used most conveniently or desktop configuration, which is disabled by default. Many but not all games in Steam that support controller settings will also have some options for button mapping or controls within them too, so make sure to check those separately. Lastly, let's cover games that don't have native controller support. Say Minecraft for example. You're going to need a controller mapping app. My go-to choice is Joystick Mapper from the Mac App Store. It's not a free app, it costs $4.99 American to install and it also hasn't been updated in a while but it is consistently the one app that continues to work for me with various controllers. Like Steam though, while it can work over Bluetooth, I find it works best while wired. With the controller connected, it will let you create presets based off controllers and games. You'll be able to map every button, trigger, and stick movement to a keyboard or mouse control. There are a few presets for the PS3, Xbox 360, and PS4 gamepads already in place for different types of games, like FPS, retro games, etc as well as some community made ones on their forums. If you don't feel like manually mapping every control to a button, then maybe take a preset, test it with the controller, and adjust to what works. For example, I found the PlayStation 3 FPS setting kind of worked, but needed to be adjusted for looking up and down to work properly. I ended up reusing my Switch Minecraft preset and adjusting the sticks for this video. Let me show you how this works. Make sure the controller is connected and detected before starting this process, preferably wired. I'm going to create a new preset and give it a name and tag to explain what gamepad and other details I want. Then I'm going to hit add new joystick. Now I'll hit add new bind. Now you'll see it presets a button and number that corresponds to the controller and a keyboard and key corresponding to the Mac keyboard. I'm going to set the Mac key first to W by hitting the letter A in the drop down and scrolling down to the list to select W. Now on the left side, if you know the button or axis you want to use, then you can select that option and its corresponding number. If you don't, then hit the scan button and press the button or move the joystick you want to bind it to. In this case, I'm hitting up on the left thumbstick to bind it to the W key on the keyboard. You can now see that the listing changed to axis one and a minus sign, which indicates the direction. And I can hit add a new bind to bind the right stick movement to a mouse movement by selecting mouse motion and the direction, and then hitting the scan button to be up on the right stick. You'll notice it's not currently responding to my controller inputs since we're in edit mode. If you're ready to use this or just test it, close out of the tab, and then in the preset list, hit the checkbox to the left of the name of your preset. Now that it's checked and the selection has turned yellow, when I make a move on my controller, you can now see the computer responds to my inputs as if I was making them on the Mac. Again, this is a lengthy process, so you might just want to copy a preset by hovering over one of the pre-made ones and hitting the clone button, which looks like two sheets of paper slightly overlapping, and then make some adjustments by hitting the scan button next to a particular bind now I have a gameplay demo video for this, but adding it to the existing video just made it too long. So if you want to see how the controller performs in Steam with a Mac App Store game and with Minecraft using Joystick Mapper, then I'll have a link to that in the description as well as in the outro clip. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped you out, then give it a like. It'll really help the channel out. Likewise, if you want more Mac, iOS, and other Apple tips, tricks, and advice, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also check out the website easyosx.net as well as on my social media pages. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.